Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to write long articles with Jasper.ai. I've done quite a few tutorials when it comes to this, but this is going to be a little bit differently because I'm going to have one other template that's going to allow you to really uh, lengthen out the content that you get. If you'd like to follow along or if you haven't gotten to test out Jasper, I will leave my link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can get a free trial and many bonus words. Let's begin. So these are the templates that I'm going to be using with Jasper. It's going to be pretty simple to do given the fact we just tell it what we want and then of course produce the content, change it around a little. So we have our blog post intro, which is pretty standard. After that, we have our blog post outline. This is gonna give us an idea of what we can write about on the all the content in between. Uh, at the end is going to be the conclusion. So we have the beginning, middle and ending and commands are gonna be what we fill in with the blog post. These are like the sub headlines and we're gonna write more about that and that's gonna really help us expand our content. So what I decide to do here is do something I just, email related. So I started typing in, is email marketing still effective? And that looks like something people are searching for, as you can see. And what we have right here, why email marketing is still relevant. That's a, a pretty good title. I'd probably use that. I'm not gonna actually like, you know, create it and post it. So I'm just gonna use the similar title. God, you gotta love Forbes. I mean, it's like, you can't even, it's such a bad design. I'm gonna rant a little, but. Finally scroll down to the to the end when I could finally start seeing something. So anyway, I'm gonna do something similar to that. Let's say, so I'm gonna do something similar to that. Let's say, I don't like that article. You know, you're probably gonna take a little uh, more to rank over Forbes, you can, but you know, just letting you know. Let's do our title. Audience is gonna be marketers. I'm gonna do reasons why, okay? And let's just do two, that's fine. Let's create our paragraphs. Okay, have you ever stopped to think about the power of email marketing? It's the perfect time for its potential, just skimming through. Even in this age of social media and other platforms, it remains one of the best ways to target, so on and so forth. In this blog post, we'll explore why many email marketing, or why email marketing continues to remain king, and so on and so forth. That looks good. Let's copy this. I have a Google Doc here. I'm also going to copy the title here. We can always change that around if needed. So that's our intro. Let's go to our outline. I'm gonna paste this in. And we have casual for our tone of voice. And I'm just gonna do four. We'll see what we get. All right, for some reason, like I clicked on it, it didn't go and then it did and it gave me one. All right, so it gave us three, that's fine. Uh, it's one of the most effective ways to reach your target audience, allows you to personalize your message. Uh, it's a great way to keep in touch, can help boost sales and encourage customer loyalty. Uh, it's cost effective. That looks pretty good. That's, you know, a little too, um, what's the word? Bland, you know, kind of boring. Okay, great. Give me a sec. I'm just going to delete these numbers, make it look a little better. Okay, so now what we can do, you know, we'll do the uh, conclusion later. This is normally where I'll take a sentence and put it in the paragraph generator, but with commands, it allows you to just generate so much more content, which is easier for us to be able to expand upon. So uh, let's do this. Write a few paragraphs about why email is one of the most effective ways to reach your target audience. Perfect. Let's click on generate and see what we get. Okay, so it's a powerful tool used by many businesses. It's one of the most effective ways to connect with customers, build relationships, you can communicate. Advantage is that it allows you to send personalized messages to uh, the recipient. Let's see, the reach your target audience, yes. Uh, cost effectiveness, sending emails does not require huge investments. Finally has become the preferred method of communication by people over the years. Okay, so overall good, like some of these, like the cost effectiveness, we can definitely um, get rid of because that's not really, I guess you can argue that it's a way of being effective way to reach your audience, but that's more about talking about price. So what I could do is copy this aspect. And then let's see because that's a separate paragraph itself, right? So obviously we could probably change around this headline. I just want to make sure you know that it is one and then go from there. Let's see, so let's do this. And since we're using commands, we just pretty much tell Jasper what we want. So talk more about the benefits when it comes to email marketing and how it specifically allows you to personalize your messages and target your specific customers. Let's generate. Right, so here we go. Talk more about the benefits when it comes to personalizing your message. There we go. You can segment your email list into different categories. Uh, talking about like, say, if you're doing clothing, for instance, you can do special promotions. 
Uh, once again, cost effectiveness, we can remove that one. Uh, offers great insights into customer behavior that can be used in future campaigns. That's good. So those were good, aside from, once again, the cost effectiveness. I guess they just like squeeze that one in there. So we can move back over here. Let's remove that cost effectiveness. Also as well, what I would do is read these more thoroughly. Uh, given the fact it's a longer article, I don't like going through and reading every single word. I just think that's very tedious. You can always like pause the screen just to see, you know, what some of these come up with. You know, I've done a million tutorials, but uh, let's do one more. Let's do this. Okay. And let's remove this. So it's put email marketing can help boost sales. Let's do describe how email marketing can help boost sales and encourage customer loyalty. Looks good. Let's generate. Okay. By leveraging the power of email, <clears throat> you can reach out to the current customers and so on and so forth, communicate with them quickly and efficiently and reach them with tailored messages. You can send automated emails. Additionally, you can segment them, uh, targeting specific customer segments. You can also use, uh, newsletters to engage with them. Could probably talk a little bit more about autoresponders. That's another great way of just adding to this. So for example, let's say we like this one. Like I know there's a few things that we talked about previously that I would edit out, uh, just kind of skimming through. Was there another cost-effective one in there? They seem to bring that up every time, which is a good point, but it's just not needed. Okay. Email newsletters. So we could also talk about, how about this? Let's do one more. Write a few paragraphs about the benefits of sending automated emails to customers. Okay. So like automation, you know, autoresponders, follow-up series, stuff like that. Let's do this last one. Okay. For businesses, uh, like personalization, companies can use them of automated emails as they're convenient. So this was good because this seems to be, oh, here we go again. Great cost saving benefits. Jasper is just really hammering home that great uh, the, the cost benefit and so on and so forth, which is funny. So keep in mind, like you are going to have to make some edits. I'm just going to make this bigger. So we know that we're adding this in here with the autoresponders. Uh, let's do that there. So that would go something like there. And this is in conclusion, like we're going to have our own conclusion. Uh, and that would have gone somewhere in between there. I didn't, uh, I think I removed the headline. I'm not sure what I did there, but let's go to the end. We have our blog conclusion. We have our title, which is right here. I'm going to copy that. And yeah, just put, leave a comment down below and let us know which autos, autoresponder you use. Something like that. I mean, you can make it whatever you want, but let's just generate. We'll do two. And here we go. Okay, you can't deny that email marketing is still relevant and definitely here to stay. Now that you know the reasons, it's time to take action. Although some may say email marketing is dead, we believe it's still very relevant. I like that because people do say that, so... Let's go down there and that would be the conclusion. So I think there's somewhere over here where you can find a format. Was it view insert where you can find the word count? I just, I think it's tool. There we go. So that was only 1300, probably not the longest in the world, but the idea behind this is that using commands here is going to really allow you to stretch out the amount of content you get. Also do keep in mind, this is going to need to be wordsmith. There are were some sections like that cost effectiveness. Remember that came up multiple times. So there are going to be times where you need to go back and just take out some sections. But the good thing about that, it allows you to add more. For example, we talked a lot about newsletters and then realized, hey, we can also hit on autoresponders. We can go into the command section and just keep repeating the process. Also, when we were doing this, we had quite a few subheadlines. I didn't do them all because once I do a few, you get a good idea about how that works. That's the general overview and kind of template that you can use when it comes to writing longer articles though. I think it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. That about does it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you'd like to test out Jasper, I will have my link down below, which comes with a free trial and many bonus words. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.